Today we're looking at the top three applications that if they came to the Linux platform would help it grow in adoption and make the life of creatives easier. And then we're going to be asking, what can we do to get software developers to bring these applications to Linux? If you watched this previous video, you may already be aware that I am somebody who believes that the Linux platform is already fantastic for creatives. My whole company, Caution Glass, works on Linux and we create professional videos for businesses. And while doing that, it's been fantastic and there's already great applications such as DaVinci Resolve, Blender, Unreal Engine, OBS, Nuke, Krita, Lightworks, and several others. Something that I always love too is when I'm watching tutorials on YouTube or something like that, and I see somebody using Windows for creative work, I always love to look down at their taskbar and see what applications they have installed. And a lot of times, most of what they have is already on Linux. But despite these great applications already being on Linux, there are some applications that are roadblocks for people to be able to switch. To keep this interesting, we're not going to be looking at the likes of Adobe Creative Cloud and Microsoft Office. Those are ones that people point out all the time already, and everybody knows that if they came to Linux, it would improve the adoption rate quite a bit. Now, the applications we're going to look at do already have counterparts on Linux, but they would definitely make things a little bit more functional and a little bit easier to use in the day-to-day -day world. Also, as a rule, if the application is part of an entire suite, we will include the whole suite. Now, let's look at app number three. So to start things off with app number three, it may surprise you as to which application it is. That is gonna be the ATEM switcher software. The reason why is because ATEM switchers are used by a wide variety of people for a wide variety of use cases. And if people knew that if you could buy an ATEM switcher, which is a fantastic piece of hardware, and use it natively on the Linux platform, I think you'd see a wide range of adopters using Linux instead of Windows or Mac. Now to have full transparency, there is an incredible open source project called Open Switcher that really has tried to step in and take the place of the ATEM software. And in my use case, it's been a mixed bag as to how good it works, but it's still underneath development. It's definitely not something that the developers would call production ready, but we kind of need production ready with the ATEMs if we're gonna actually use them. Now, the good news is ATEMs are actually usable in Linux, but they don't, of course, have their official application. The reason why they are usable is because you can actually output from the USB-C to a Linux box and it will see it as a webcam. This is how I've actually used my ATEM switcher on the Linux platform, and I've ran it directly into OBS. I've been able to overlay graphics, I'll have four camera inputs, and then I can use the HDMI off of the ATEM switcher to get my multi-camera feed. It's been great. The only issue though, is if I wanna have an effect applied to only one camera or something like that, I can't really do that because it's coming in as a single video stream, which definitely limits a lot of the use cases of the ATEM switcher. However, if you are somebody on Linux or considering Linux, don't worry, your ATEM switcher will still work with Linux. You're just going to have a single linear camera feed. App number two is going to be HitFilm, which is actually part of a little bit of a suite, including the Emerge photo editing software. HitFilm is made by FX Home and is owned by Artlist. Yes, the Artlist that you know for music and everything like that. They acquired FX Home not that long ago. And funny story, FX Home's Composite Lab Pro and FX Lab Pro were actually some of my earliest software when I started getting into visual effects and filmmaking. So HitFilm is going to obviously have a little bit of a soft spot in my heart, but there is a good reason why it's on this list. We do need another NLE option. There are many great NLEs on Linux already with the likes of DaVinci Resolve, Lightworks, and Kden Live, and then we have a handful of other open source options. But beyond those three, and Kden Live is honestly questionable as to whether it's ready for professional use, I love Kden Live and I really hope it gets there and its roadmap is looking fantastic, but we do need another NLE option that could fit the needs of many other people. And HitFilm has a fantastic visual effects system, which would allow people who are more used to the likes of After Effects get onto the Linux platform and create great visual effects. And then along with HitFilm, you would also get the Emerge photo editing application, which is a little bit like Lightroom. And we already have Darktable and Raw Therapy, which are fantastic raw editors, and I love using Darktable personally, but adding a merge to the platform would be very beneficial for a lot of people who are considering switching to Linux. And the number one application that would be the most beneficial to come to the Linux platform is the Affinity Suite. The Affinity Suite has been in the news a lot lately, considering all the things that are going on with Adobe these days. A lot of people are looking to get off the Creative Cloud anyway, and they're choosing Affinity. And then along with Affinity, they're choosing DaVinci Resolve to replace Premiere Pro, After Effects, and the like. 
which means that if we were to have Affinity and DaVinci Resolve, we would fit the needs of a lot of people on the Linux platform. Now, I know I'm going to be ruffling a lot of feathers here because GIMP, Krita, and Inkscape are already on Linux and they do a fantastic job. Believe me, I know. I love GIMP, I love Krita, and I love Inkscape. But let's be honest here, a lot of people who are looking to switch to the Linux platform have possibly even already looked at those or they're not even considering them because they're free options and stuff like that and they want something more commercial. And the Affinity Suite is a fantastic opportunity to get people to come to the Linux platform and use DaVinci Resolve and Affinity on it. And they truly can replace Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. They really can. And so to have that whole software suite on the Linux platform would be fantastic. But how do we go about getting these applications to Linux? Because that's really the big question here. The answer is honestly pretty simple. We ask the developers to bring their applications to Linux, whether it's through an email, on the forums, in some kind of a group chat, something like that where you can actually get in front of the developers of these applications and let it known that we want these applications to come to the Linux platform, it will all improve the chance of the developers going, hmm, this Linux thing is becoming more popular. Let's bring our software to the platform. The other way to help is you should usage statistics. The other way to help is you should usage statistics. Usage statistics. Just keep using Linux. If you're somebody who dual boots, try to stay on Linux as much as possible. When they start looking at market share counters and all that kind of stuff, they will see the Linux needle rise. And that will give them a clear indicator that there's enough of a user base for them to bring their applications to Linux and it be financially viable. Because so we have to remember, these are companies and they're looking to make money. So when they bring their application into Linux, it's because they know it's gonna make them money. So we just gotta keep using Linux. But that's just three applications. And there are many other applications out there that would be fantastic to have come to the Linux platforms. So which ones do you think should come to Linux? Let me know in the comments below and we'll do a part two in the future. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy Premiere Prep, make sure you go check out the No Plan channel where me and my buddy Jack just do all kinds of random things and have no plan. And also to see how I use Linux on a daily basis in a creative world, check out CautionGlass.com or CautionGlass YouTube channel where we use Linux on a daily basis making professional productions for businesses and turn around great results. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to live your life one frame at a time, and I will catch you next time.